Hey everyone, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. This week, instead of doing my normal meal plan with you guys, I thought I'd do a holiday edition, so to speak. I'm gonna make a prime rib and show you how easy it is to roast a prime rib. Make a horseradish cream sauce, totally easy. Roasted asparagus, and I'll show you how to make a very simple homemade scalloped potatoes. I thought it was very timely for either Christmas or if you wanted to serve it for New Year's. It is a very simple, a little intimidating if you've never done it before, but totally simple, doable uh, holiday meal plan. So I'm going to turn this camera around. We're going to get started. I'll show you how to do this step by step. You guys ready? Let's do it. <laughs> First of all, we're going to start with our uh, prime rib or it's called a standing rib roast. The first thing we want to look at is how many pounds it is. This one is 8.64 pounds. So I'm going to write that down on my paper. And just a side note, when you look at the ribs, if you count the ribs, this is a four rib roast. Uh, a full prime rib is seven ribs. This one is just uh, four ribs. And a good rule of thumb, for every rib, it's two generous servings. So this prime rib is enough for eight people to have generous servings. Our prime rib weighs 8.64 pounds. We're going to times that by 14. And... 14 is uh, what you cook it for if you want it medium rare. So 8.64 times 14 is 120.96. So I'm just going to round up to 121. That's the number of minutes we're going to go with. Now, now that we have that calculated, the rest of it's totally simple. The first... 30 minutes that we cook the prime rib, we're gonna put it in a 450 degree oven, okay? So, after 30 minutes, we're gonna reduce the oven temperature down to 325 degrees for the remainder of the time. So we have to take 30 minutes from the 121, and that's gonna give us 91 minutes. After that time, we want to take the roast out of the oven, let it rest for another 20 minutes. And usually I put a little bit of foil over it and just loosely cover it and let it rest. Okay, so that's our game plan. The only other thing that I do is an hour before I get ready to cook it, I take it out and I let it come to uh, sit at room temperature for one hour before I start cooking. So there's the formula. I'm gonna make a very flavorful uh, herb rub to put on the prime rib. I have two tablespoons of softened butter. I have a tablespoon of fresh thyme leaves, a tablespoon of salt, tablespoon of pepper. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil. And then finally, I have a head of garlic, finely minced. Okay, we get this all mixed together. This is gonna give it so much flavor. And even if you're not a big garlic fan, the garlic is going to get so sweet and mellow in the oven, delicious. That looks good. Now all you need to do is, um, I like to cook the prime rib on a V-rack if you have it, if you don't, just don't worry about it. You could uh, put a bed of like uh, vegetables like onion, celery, carrots, and just set the prime rib on top of it. That would be delicious. Okay, I'm just going to take all of that butter and herb mixture, put it right on top with clean hands. Just kind of get it all on that fat cap. I have my oven preheated at 450 degrees and I'm going to take this roast 
get it into that oven for 30 minutes and then decrease the temperature to 325 for the 91 minutes. While the prime rib is in the oven, we went ahead and peeled potatoes, seven of them, and we cut them into thin uh, rounds. I'm gonna take about a tablespoon, two to three teaspoons, I guess, of salt, and go ahead and salt the potatoes. Also, about a fourth a cup of flour. And take a spatula and give it a big stir. You want the flour to kind of coat as many potatoes that you can. This is such a totally easy recipe. In addition, I have a couple cloves of finely minced garlic. Right. I went ahead and sprayed a baking dish. We're going to get the potatoes in there. To the potatoes, I added four tablespoons of butter that I just cut into pats. And then take a quart of heavy whipping cream. Pour over the potatoes. We're going to get this into the oven with the prime rib when we turn the oven down to 325. The roast has been in the oven at 450 degrees for 30 minutes. So now I'm going to decrease the oven temperature to 325. And this is where I'm going to add the um, scallop potatoes. I went ahead and I added the scallop potatoes. Look how beautiful that roast is turning out. Now we're just going to close the oven and let this sucker cook for another 91 minutes. The roasted asparagus is so simple. Just take the asparagus and drizzle on a little bit of olive oil. Season with some salt. Some pepper. And small handful of Parmesan cheese. And when we take the prime rib out of the oven, when it's finished cooking, to let it rest for 15, 20 minutes, that's when we're going to put the asparagus in to cook. And it's going to come out perfect timing. To make the uh, horseradish cream sauce, just add about a cup of heavy whipping cream to a bowl. And I'm going to use my mixer to uh, get some stiff peaks on this. And this is uh, some prepared horseradish I got at Trader Joe's. I'm gonna add about uh, half of this jar after I whip the whipped cream. So let's get going here. I'm just gonna fold in about four ounces of this prepared horseradish. And that's as easy as it gets. <laughs> and I'll just put this in the refrigerator until we're ready to serve dinner. And this will be a little garnish for the prime rib. The roast has rested for 20 minutes. And Kenny is taking all those strings that held it together off. And he's going to carve this sucker up. He's going to cut it. Show them the, the, how beautiful it turned out. Perfect every time. If you like yours well done, then just add two minutes per pound for the cooking time. To plate it up, um, we just put the scallop potatoes, the asparagus, 
the prime rib and the horseradish cream sauce. And Ken and I are gonna have this, but we're not gonna have the scalloped potatoes. The boys are gonna have the scalloped potatoes. It's gonna be a wonderful, uh, easy peasy holiday dinner. That's how easy it is to cook a simple holiday dinner that will impress your guests. <laughs> I hope that helped you guys. And more importantly, I hope you have a very blessed uh, time with your family over Christmas and New Year's. And until the next video, I'll talk to you guys later. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.